Hi beautiful souls, this is Arshna with Divine Soul Resonance welcoming you to my channel. Mind, heart, mind, heart, 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 mind, 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 mind. You know, we have this eternal pull and push between should I listen to my mind or do I listen to my heart? I should change my mind. I need to change my thinking. I need to change my mind. I need to do this. And many times in wishing to bring about different outcome or experience life in a different way, we all know that. We say the power of the mind. Change your mind. Shift your focus. Shift your thinking. Yes, I have videos on that. But today's guidance, when I ask the Spirit what I should share with the collective for this week in December, and it says to talk about the mind from the flower of life. And I'll read the actual message. I want to highlight the fact that, you know, anytime we try to force anything, it doesn't really, it doesn't really stick. It doesn't really stick. I mean, you think about it, you know, you force a different way of eating, you try to force yourself to uh, do some things, you'll do it for a while thinking because it's, it's, it's leading you up to a point, but it's not sustaining. Okay? When something comes in from that deeper source from within, it's sustaining. Right? It touches, comes from your heart source. It's sustaining. So how do you bring, instead of that being like a constant battle between the mind and the heart, how do you bring them in harmony? How do you get your mind to be in alignment with your soul? Ego in alignment with the soul. So initially there's going to be resistance. There's going to be a battle. There is, there is. That's just how it is. There's resistance. It's you are used to doing some things a certain way. Your mind is programmed with that based on where you've been grown up, your life circumstances. So the mind, you know, your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. The subconscious mind has been storing all those programs, has been storing conditioning. Okay, you do this. This is how you look. This is what you do. Um, uh, this is how you behave in love. Oh, someone did this, then you don't do this. So we are trying to protect. That's why we call our ego self. So we create this persona. We create this persona based on programs. It's like, you know, a computer, right? You, you put some programs in and you get the robot to perform a certain way. Now what's really happening is that we're not allowing a heart to guide to be the guide for those senses to be the guide to control where those horses let's say the five senses where they're going where are they going who is the charioteer it's your soul so doing things by force by saying you need to change meaning i'm talking to myself on my mind like I need to change my mind. So I'm like forcing it. But the key, the guidance that came in today is we accept for where and what the mind is. You're not judging it. You're simply working on embracing with unconditional love and acceptance. Coming from that place of love and accepting aspects that you have done, that the way your mind thinks, oh, or if you start to analyze, why do I think like that? I'm not that kind of a person. So there is that battle. No. Acceptance. And you give it love. You don't judge it. We bring in tremendous healing of the mind and the heart. And I want to read this. It's from this amazing deck. You see this? It's my favorite. It's a flower of life. You see this? I'm going to put it right here. <laughs> I'm in my playful mood today. Um, I wish my garden was looking like this right now, but it's gorgeous. My garden is lovely. I love it. And um, when I ask for guidance for this week in December, how wonderful. I know in parts of the world, this is what it is. 
question I want you to ask yourself. What do you feel when you see this card? Can you hear them over the airplanes? Ah, look at that. Do you see it? Okay. I'm going to hide behind. <laughs> and I'm going to read what this Flower of Life card says. It says the mind. Gone. Okay. We enter and explore the mind to know and love it, not to force it into submission. You don't have to change your mind or make it different to what it is, just because you don't like what it's saying. We're not battling the mind. We're making love and peace. I like that. So we can embrace it. From this vibration of unconditional love, your mind and heart heal and open, coming together in harmony. I absolutely love this. Now from this balance placed, you can do what Gandhi suggested to free the mind. Be the change you want to see in the world. Be inspired by your divine love, wisdom, and strength. And I took guidance message from Psychic Tarot card deck and we got this card. I won't explain what that is, but I will tell you how what I felt when I pulled it to explain the mind. You have this guiding light inside of you at all times. That lantern is within. We're never alone. Our soul light is connected to the divine light. We are always eternally connected to the divine souls. And we're simply shedding that light, our soul light, on the aspects that we really can't see. And once we confront and we see those, there's nothing to fear. And you bring all of that in balance. You start to heal. You start to accept those shadows that you were not able to earlier. Remember, your divine flame, you, your divine spark, is always with you. Having faith and trust in your heart and surrendering to the process that's unfolding. Surrendering to the process that is unfolding. I want you to think about this. You're surrendering to the process that's unfolding. And simply being enjoying the now and the here and the now. Accepting what it is without judgment. Let those thoughts come. Let those feelings come. Repression and suppression and non-acceptance is only going to bring in disharmony. And we're going to come from a place of very feeling very fragmented because the mind wants something and the heart wants something. The mind wants something and it says something, but your heart says that's not true. But you're fearful, you're afraid. You're afraid of the change. You're afraid that everything's going to crumble. Another card that I pulled. You're afraid that everything is going to crumble. Your whole foundation will come. I mean, that's what you've that's what you've known all your life. That's how you have operated. How do I let go of that? That would mean I would have to redefine who I am, what I am, how I am. Just know that the soul light. I won't I'll hide those words that say feeling alone. That soul light is so bright that it can light up all darkness. You don't need to know the entire plan. You don't need to see all aspects of the path. Just one step at a time. To start embracing that. Don't reject it. So parting thoughts. Be inspired by your divine love, wisdom, and strength.
be inspired by your divine love, wisdom, and strength. Come from this vibration of unconditional love for yourself, and you'll start radiating that frequency towards all of life and all of creation. Sending you love and light, and I'll talk to you soon.